Hey, how you doing today? We are in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 14. So here we go. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really knew me, you would know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip, even after I've been among you such a long time? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you are not just my own. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing His work. Believe me when I say that when I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the miracles themselves. I tell you the truth, anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. So it's kind of a powerful finish there and uh, kind of a powerful beginning here. Um, you know, I love this section of Scripture talking about, uh, you know, that Jesus goes to prepare a place for us ahead of us. You know, he's talking to the apostles. I believe this is true for all believers. There is a place for us in heaven. And uh, uh, it's just amazing. You know, I... I I don't know if this is goofy or not, but uh, I have put in my request. I figure if uh, if the Lord is preparing a place for me, I should let Him know what my desires are. So I have asked God in prayer for an orchard uh, and a, like a cabin outside the city and, uh, you know, maybe a couple of horses, a cart, and uh, and I can bring the produce into the city and help people, you know, from the orchard, the produce from the orchard. That's what I've asked for. If he's preparing a place for me, that's what I'm looking for. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I know it'll be good either way. Um, but, you know, do not let your hearts be troubled. Okay, they're about to see some really terrible things. Jesus, again, is going to be crucified the next day. And he says, don't let your hearts be troubled. So... He's warning them, but he's also telling them to be strong through this difficult time because God is greater than the circumstances and there's a bigger plan. Then Thomas asks a great question. Lord, we don't know where you're going, so how can we know the way? And Jesus gives a fantastic answer. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And that is still a great answer today. You know, we don't know, like, how do you get to heaven? Well, turn left uh, when you get to ESCO. Like, there's there's not a real clear answer as far as, like, directions uh, in that natural sense. But if we follow Jesus and He's, you know, He's with the Father, then we'll end up with the Father too. So we want to just follow Jesus. He is the way. Um, and if you want to find out what's at the end of the narrow path, you just follow Jesus. He is our guide through this life. Follow Jesus. That's the narrow path. It leads to life, and then we're taken care of. So that's the system. We learn His ways. We live them out. We trust and worship the Lord. We live in faith, trusting that God is good and believing for God's intervention in our life. 
And you've got to do verse 6, that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. You've got to do that, you know, learning God's ways, the ways of Christ, living like Jesus, trusting and worshiping the Lord, living by faith. You've got to do that if you want to get to this verses 12 through 14, which, by the way, this is amazing. Jesus says, I tell you the truth, anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. That's amazing stuff. But you can't just skip to verse 12. You've got to do verse 6. You've got to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. Live your life in His ways. Learn His teachings. Live them out. Then we can expect the power of God in our lives. Powerful, powerful stuff. So, man, let's have that be manifest in its fullness, huh? All right. Let's pray. Let's pray to understand uh, that the way to the Father is by following Jesus. That's where we get everlasting life. We have powerful prayer through Christ. So let's go to Him and let's believe. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank You for Your goodness. Lord, thank You for showing us the way. Thank You that we need to just follow Jesus, learn His teachings, walk by faith, acting out the teachings of Christ, living in His teachings. And Lord, then we have that powerful relationship with you where we know you answer prayer and you are there and we can walk by faith and we know that that is where everlasting life comes from. So, Father, help us to not skip living for Jesus and going the same way he has gone and try to jump into the rewards that come from that. But, Lord, let us live uh, following Christ step by step through this life so that we can grab hold of those good things. Lord, let it be. Teach us this and help us to stand strong and faithful. In Jesus' name, amen.